Yeah, so this is a job we've been putting off for a while, um, but we've got to do it now, won't we? Yeah. As you can see, it's paying for the socks and underwear and stuff. I hate this job, you know. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my head. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. today's vlog hope you're all okay yeah boys went off to school again absolutely fine Ben was in this really giggly smiley mood again which is lovely to see him really really is he didn't want to wake up this morning I have to admit that I did take him a good 10 15 minutes off for him to try and wake up he was also in that mood where he wasn't being cooperative as such but he was doing it in a playful way it was like when I was getting in dress he normally helps um, like puts his arms in and stuff like that but he wasn't having any of it and he just well that's because I'm really gonna have my me he's just sit there burst out laughing so yeah he is going to be in a good mood hopefully fingers crossed for school as well yeah when he's in that mood everybody just can't help but laugh and kick her with him basically he's got crazy girl for this afternoon for his pee lesson which is he actually really, really loves that. Um, not too quite sure what Sam is doing today. I think he's got, oh, he's got inclusion today. He's doing PE as well. They do things like athletics, like the volleyball and all that sort of thing. So, I hope, fingers crossed, they both have good days. And they let us know a bit later on um, what they got up to. Yeah, anyway, I'm out nice and about early, just popping off to the local Tesco Express. Ben actually has run out of cornflakes. And it's just as cheap to, I say it's cheaper, it's a bit more expensive to get it from the local Tesco Express uh, because obviously like, you're paying for convenience and that sort of thing. But if we went to somewhere like Tesco's or Sainsbury's, we'll end up getting more, so it probably does work out to be a lot cheaper as well. I mean, this Tesco's for ages. Oh, they've got, oh, go see what they got for the club card office as well. I've got Pringles up £1.50. I thought it was not too bad actually. Walker's Chris, £1.65. What are they? Salted popcorn flavour pop crisps. Well, they're different, aren't they? I just imagine they'd be like the Snappy Jacks or something like that. They're only £1.70. No, £1.25. And up here you can see they've got all the big Easter eggs. They've got the Lindor ones, £15. Those ones anyway, but they've got the Bunny ones, which are actually £17. So we did try and get for Cabby Wolves for this up around Easter time, but we can't get on the Merlin Pass. We can pay for it normally, so I just keep trying. You never know, someone might cancel or something like that. Got the random eggs for £12. Got the Kit Kat eggs as well, they're £12. And then obviously got the Dairy White Marble ones for £12. Fingers Mini, mini Egg Illusions, which are only £12 as well. So, yeah, and obviously here, got like all the normal things. Always check the reduced price cabinet, you never know, you might find something nice in there. So, there's like sandwiches and all that sort of thing, so there's no, nothing in there today. Sometimes you can come and find us loads. No one down says hardly anything. What have they got over here? Just like all the normal. What are they? Sloppy Joe's. They're different, aren't they? What have they got around here? Obviously, more Easter eggs. got the little ones. I suppose they're not bad actually. £3 for the little ones. And over here, I've got the, like, the toe brains. Have they got the big. They ain't got the big uh, buttons in, have they? That's what Sam says he wanted. He wanted the big button one. Well, that's not too bad, actually. Look, regular price is £10. That's gone to £8.75 on the Tesco club card offer. And then you've got the milk um, the gold bunny for £10, too. See, and then just turn around and see, you've got the um, glue free. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. £2. It's on Tesco club card prices. So, yeah, I'm happy about that. And you're paying £2, say 50p on that one. Obviously, I've got some more like the Ripple eggs, more teaser eggs, Reese eggs, what's um, Stephen likes. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing that we've got the um, button big eggs, not less not doing them this year. But so, like I said, there's plenty of time still for them to come in now, isn't there? Dairy milk ones, mini eggs, twelves, the orange ones, cream eggs. Yeah. 
I guess it's probably space than my guess it's probably space up there so I might put them up there. Galaxy Maltese ones even got the taper in one there. Or even Ferro Russia one up here for ten pounds too as well. If you even got like the little ones of the club car price is one twenty. I do think these ones are a bit expensive what they are because you probably haven't got much chocolate, you're probably better off buying a big bar of chocolate for the probably roughly the same price and probably get more on them as well. But they've got like the white buttons, they've got the carrot mat ones and little normal ones there as well. What I might actually do is to be honest with you, for Amelia, I might buy one for Amelia though, because obviously she wouldn't be able to have a big chocolate or nothing like that. So I think she can have a little one. But yeah, I mean, like I said, I've got Ben's Corn Flakes. So I'm just going to go and pay for these. It's all I want, actually, to be honest with you. And we will put more eggs up here. No. I think so. if we can't find them, I think Sam so. just have to pick another egg that he wants. Yeah, look, Lindor ones, Lindor ones there. And just normal, like, eggs here. Yeah, comment down below if you've actually tried these ones yet, the mini eggs. Because they're actually orange ones. I know they bring orange up for everything, aren't they? But someone said though, then it's not dairy milk chocolate they're using for the mini eggs anymore. It's a different type of chocolate. Yeah, so this is a job we've been putting off for a while, um, but we've got to do it now, won't we? As you can see, it's paying for the socks and underwear and stuff. I hate this job, you know. Need to go to the tubs and check to see if there's any loose socks in there. We do actually. So yeah, um, it's not so bad with my socks and stuff like that. But when yours and the boys' socks are practically the same, that's not my clothes in there, darling. That's fine. You need to put them away. Then. I need to put all my clothes away. Yeah, I need to set out all my clothes actually to be honest. See, see what fits me, what doesn't. So yeah. Um, that's the Christmas stuff there, that's all fine now. I need to try and find another container or something for that one. So yeah, it's like I say, it's just going to go through this lot, see what's on here and that sort of thing. It's just trying to find the pair as well. And I, I always guarantee you, you always find loads of odd pairs, a lot of pairs of socks, which is just sort of fine. I love to what happens to them, you know. Really, really well. I don't know if they get stuck somewhere. But yeah, so comment down below how you wash your socks and if you get any odd pairs and stuff like that. So, like I said, see them just going to take their drawers and their tub see if they've got any odd socks. And then just go from there, so yeah. <laughs> Snap! Snap! <laughs> so yeah, so she was just almost finished um, Claire, pairing. Claire, watching, this one's for you. Snap! Snap, yeah. <laughs> Claire knows what we're all about with Snap. Snap. And socks, yeah, it's just a funny thing we had going, wasn't it? I thought it was really funny what we were doing on that. Um, but anyway, yeah, you can see we've practically paired up most of the socks. Um, I'm quite surprised actually, we've got that many. I thought we've had more than that, you know. Is that one a pair? Or they different colours? That one and that one, and those slashing, is those slashing the ones? Is that a pair? No. Maybe they uh, got mixed up with their own pair. They might have done actually. So yeah, what we're going to do is um, there's a there's a few socks drying and stuff downstairs. So we're going to put all them into the basket, give them one more try, and if not, we're just going to throw them away, though, aren't we? Basically, I know that Marvel sock. I know that one's clean. And the pair is downstairs. I know that for definite because I put that on the air and it's coming in a minute. Snap! Yeah. <laughs> Um, that's it, I think, isn't it? Look at Sammy's pile of socks. Well, look at Sammy's pile of socks. He's got loads of socks there, hasn't he? Yeah. I think because he's had the, um, your Sammy, Sammy's had snap. your... You, what? No. It's not. Yeah. Take that snap back. It's a great snap. Yeah. Um, so I was saying, yes, I think because obviously Sammy had his, like Ben's old socks and stuff, like the hand-me-downs and stuff. So yeah, but that part there is Sammy's socks there. Obviously that's his underwear in there as well. And that makes it definitely a lot easier for him. These loose ones can sit just on the top here for now. They can do, can't they? So I am putting these back in a basket. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. If there's that one up here. Yeah, there's not many up so there, the is there? The next load of socks comes up, we're going to play a game. Yeah, that's fine. Match the pair. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, like I said, it's a lot easier having all these in the containers. Especially for Sammy when he picks his own clothes and stuff in the morning, he can actually do it that way. And this pile of socks here is actually Ben's, and obviously that can go in Ben's drawer as well. So I've got a big pile of clothes down here I need to um, put away, but I need to sort out my wardrobe. I've got so many clothes in there that don't fit me anymore, you know. I have to do the earring cupboard now. Do the earring cupboard now? Yeah. Yeah, who might as well do the earring cupboard? What? And get rid of all the double sheets we don't need, because obviously Ben hasn't got a double bed anymore, has he? No. Ben's got a king size bed, so yeah. Well, if you want to go and shove them back under Sammy's bed. I will do them and do the earring cupboard. Yeah, and just like that, the boys are home 
from school. Yeah, it's been a really quick day actually to be on this heavy yeah. Um but yeah, anyway, Ben's got some of this. Are they Harry Bays? No, they Harry Bays you've given him. So yeah, they probably are Harry Bays, as you know, Ben absolutely loves those. Probably go shopping if he sees them, that's it, he'll grab the tub and put them in the um basket. There is I think there's another tub in there, he hadn't actually that he had yet. I know he had a couple for Christmas and also a couple for his birthday, so he's using up the last of those as well. So yeah, as far as I know, he's had a good day. They have written his book. But again, like I said, I know if he had any issues over the phone and stuff like that. So obviously there must have been no concerns with his foot. Because I can't remember if we mentioned him yesterday. They said, wonder if his foot swelled up a little bit. And he had to have to make, he has got like a little bit of lump on his toe, so I need to find the nurse up actually, so I want to say the doctors, see if you get into the nurse, see what it is. But it doesn't, it's, but it's not bothering him or nothing like that, so I don't know if we're, he's had the shoes on too tight or anything like that, and that could have affected it, because obviously like I said, with Ben in his shoes, he constantly kicks his shoes, I don't know if he's kicked his toe by mistake or something like that, just have to keep a close eye on that and see how it goes, but yeah. Um, like I said, he's done mini golf today as well, haven't you, Ben? Did you like your golf? Yeah, like they last week. He did it last week, and they said he really, really loved it, and he actually won playing mini golf. So, yeah, when we go away, Ben, we'll have to have a go at crazy golf, won't we? So, you get on. But, anyway, it's just having you well. How was your day today? Being good. Yeah. Did anything interesting? I just played some games today. You just played some games today? Did you have inclusion today? No. Why is that? Wife was ill. Oh, was he? Yeah. So, what did you do instead? I just done some colouring. I did some colouring that, did you instead? Yeah. So, but at least you had a good time there, yeah? At school? Yeah. And now you're swimming tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah, you like the swimming, don't you? Oh, bless him. Oh, Ben. You've still got two. Oh, do you want those? Okay. Oh, bless him. Yes, it's got the. The first time he's actually given me a packet with sweets left back, back in that. Yeah. I think because he wants to. What's my sweet up? What are you doing? Attacking that yoga class again, aren't you? So I think because obviously he wants to go down there and play with his lights, bless him. So I'm going to leave these um, few here and take out the packet. And then if he wants them, he can have them when he wants them. Can't we, Benny? Yeah, you play with your lights. Like it's nice actually, like he's got himself into a regular routine now. Obviously, he comes in from school, has his drink, he has his snack, and he takes himself down here to play with his lights. It's, like I said, it's his probably as well as coming out relaxing. Again, Sammy comes home and plays on his Xbox, don't you, Sammy? So, they like the last time it's way of coming out relaxing on there as well. Sammy said, Didn't you, darling? He said, It's quite a good stress reliever, didn't you, doing that? Playing your game. Do you think it is, darling? Do you think it can be? When you play on your Xbox, it could be a great stress reliever sometimes. I can't remember the last time you played on the Xbox, actually, to be honest with you. When was the last time you played on it? Last year. I think it were, actually. Yeah, last year, during Christmas break. Mm. Thing is, though... I don't, I don't really plan it anymore. What? You don't, do you? I don't know. You want some I know, yeah. I think you have actually, yeah, you have played on your Switch more, haven't you? Yeah, I like that, You like that new one? I've always been a lover of Nintendo, Yeah, I know, yeah. So, but anyway, I need to find something for tea now, Sammy. All right, what is your school dinner today? My school dinner today, it was meatballs. Oh, yeah, meatballs. Oh, that's not too bad, then, is it? So... Yeah, so yeah, Ben's happy down here now playing with his toys. So he's made it a mess down here where he's had some of his toys out. I'm glad we got the owl back out for him because he absolutely loves playing with his owl, doesn't he? My only right. problem is it doesn't work anymore. No, it's that old. Mm. What? Cheddars. You want some cheddars? Yeah. I'm sure these two are come, growing, coming down with a growth spurt or something like that. Especially Sammy because he seems to be constantly eating all the time at the minute, doesn't he? All he yeah. wants to do is eat and eat and eat and eat. But when he had to go for his health check back mid of December, they said he's up. Um, how much did he grow? How much did he grow in the year? How much did he grow in the year? 
I can't remember what I can't remember what Shay said now. Originally it was only just under five foot or something, but now it's five foot nine. So it's actually grown yeah, that long. Doing? What are you doing? So yeah, so they're the number two to hike top for Sammy and I reckon if he carries on growing, he could be well over six foot like Ben is and obviously Stephen. So they're, they're both the boys take after you for their height, don't they? So, oh, you, you, you're doing tea tonight again? I don't mind. I, actually, you done tea last night. I don't mind doing tea, darling. What? I don't mind doing tea. Yeah, so Stephen is cooking pasta for tea. No, like I said, I didn't mind cooking, but it seems to be my he fancy pasta for tea, so let him do that. And I'll do my chicken and thing tomorrow night, all right? Or even tomorrow, I could do lasagna or something tomorrow. What? So, yeah, so we're just doing that. And I, I, I didn't realise actually with the um, Amazon um, Alexa thing, you can actually watch TV programs through it. What? So, but anyway, just seems just watching the Stay Bart one episode there. But it's not Stay Bart anymore, is it? It's been overtaken by. Is it Kalina? They've also took over quite a few of the companies, haven't they? So it's one big. Yeah. The thing is, that's the problem though, also when you get like company, companies, they get to overtaken by shareholders, sometimes it can actually destroy the company, can't it? So, that's a bit like WWE, isn't it? What's happened to them? They're owned by shareholders now, aren't they? So, rather than the company, but... Yeah, I um, always remember though, interestingly, when Ben was younger, he absolutely loved Stay Bart, didn't he? This series here is now 14 years old. Is it? Yeah. That's crazy, isn't it? What was it? I can remember every year us going up to Rugby and then going on the truck tours and spotting all the trucks. Because we met quite a few of the drivers, didn't we, as well? We met Matt, Eakins. We met Mo, who's on there now. I wonder. One thing who I did think was a little bit big headed, that was Mark Dixon, who used to drive for them, didn't he? He got a little bit towards the end. But it was your favourite driver we met? I think it was Ashley. Ashley was really, really down to earth, wasn't he, when we, when we met him a couple of times. What's, what's his name was as well? I've got to think of his name, Tim. He was pretty good, actually, because I remember we also went to um, Stuckfest, didn't we, at Peterborough Showground a few times. And we uh, met them there. We also met Todd and Lisa from I Show Trucks as well, didn't we? No, there isn't, actually. But because we met... Um, him a couple of times. He actually recognised you, didn't he? Yeah. Which was really nice. So, but they, those were the days, eh? Is Peterborough got rid of the truck fest, didn't it? Mm. Is truck fest still going? Truck fest is still going, yeah. Oh, right, so. It's in Lincoln, there's a time instead of uh, Peterborough. Oh, is it? So, that'd be too far for us to go there, wouldn't it? That would be. Sorry. Well, now, how far is Lincoln? I don't know, actually. I would never clue. They, they did that one at Malvern, didn't they? When did they still got that one or not? I'll have to have a look. But one thing I always used to love, when we used to go down to Great Yarmouth, back August Bank Holiday weekend, just have all those big trucks going through. What the, what the East Coast convoy truck is. Oh, I'd have a look actually, see if it is. But anyway, yes, let's get on with Stephen cooking the pasta anyway for tea. So, again, might use everything up we've got, yeah. So Ben's happy down here with his lights. Aren't you, Ben? Are you happy down here playing with your lights? I know. That's the thing, why did you take all your old, your old things too, you know? So, but yes, let him on doing with that and then... Um, We'll catch up later. Well, as she found that brings Tuesday's vlog to an end, and yeah, it is absolutely pouring a rain outside. They're saying it's supposed to be getting colder this week, and there uh, could be a chance of snow on Thursday, so it'll be funny to see if that will uh, come out afterwards. But anyway, yeah, as always, like the video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.